So I've been using this chat GPT Chrome plugin for around a week and it has changed my SEO game. Um, not only does it speed up a lot of the processes that I, I need to use it for, but it, it has also made it a lot easier for me um, to quickly just browse and use the command I want to do the research I want to pull up the keywords to cluster keywords and do a lot of stuff that I normally do for my clients. And in this video, I'm going to show you that app. But before I do, uh, like and subscribe and let's jump right into it. All right. So welcome back. Now, I this is the plugin right here and it's called Open Chat GPT. If I click on the plugin, it automatically logs me in. Now, you need to have an account or you need to have a Google account and this will then automatically log you in. And unlike when you log in, when you don't necessarily have this installed, you see you see the main screen here and then you see these prompts. Now these are automatic prompts that have been programmed into the app. So you don't have to memorize any of these prompts and I'll show you how this works. Now today's keyword I'm, I'm going to target is for the pest control industry. It's called Pest Control um, New York. Now there are quite a few, uh, there are quite a few things here, a uh, few, few options here. You can play around with it. I like to start with a keyword strategy. So what I'll do here is I'll click on keyword strategy. I'll type in my keyword here, which is pest control New York. And what this does, it will give me a list of clustered keywords. Now, ChatGPT does not do this perfectly, and there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, but this provides me with a good outline that I can work off of and I can add to. So this is a great starting point and it cuts out a lot of work that I would otherwise have to do. Now it says here residential pest control, uh, pest control New York. So this is a cluster. This is the keyword. Obviously there will be more keywords that you need to add to the cluster. Um, let's say that the intent here is, is transactional. Um, there's also a proposal, a title, and then you can just work and it also gives you a meta description. So you can just work off this. It says uh, commercial pest control, pest control New York, uh, commercial, transactional, bed bug extermination, rodent control, mouse exterminator. Um, so it just gives me this whole list of keywords um, and it's still generating this keyword. And then you can use this um, to primarily um, start building your, uh, your, your content uh, map for uh, the keyword that you're trying to target. Um, you know what pages to create. All right, so the next thing we want to do once we have the keywords clustered, and this is another very important, um, this is another very important thing is the keyword cluster. Now, it's going to have a similar output, but I'll show you the difference here. Um, let's put in, uh, all right, so the next thing we want to do is you want to find keyword clusters. Now, this is slightly different from what we, from what I did uh, earlier, which was uh, trying to find a keyword strategy. Uh, that would mainly just listed out all the pages I should cover. Now, this one is more about and just clustering keywords. So once that bunch of do that, you can do this or you can do, do this one first. So let's do pass control New York. Go ahead and do this. And now it's what this does is, is clustering um, topics. All right. So it's gone ahead and it's 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 clustered this the best it could. It says pest control, pest control, search intent is transactional, informational in English. Now, it also explains why it has pulled this up. Now, as I said, this is not perfect. And this is, this is more of, you know, what you get off, get out of chat GPT. Um, and with each prompt, now this is also worth uh, mentioning that with each prompt, you need to clear the conversation because then you see, you don't see those prompts again. So you have to hit here, clear the conversation. It um, pulls this up again. Now, another neat feature here is outrank the competition with, a, with an in-depth SEO optimized article. Right, let's say that we wanted to, um, we wanted a better article than this one um, or better content. You can either do it either way. I paste the URL over here and then hit enter. And okay, so this feature is not working. And this is more of, you know, chat GPT's problem than any other problem. So let's try something else. So query conversation, let's do, okay, FAQ from content. 
uh, keyword translator, uh, find questions and article structure. Okay, so this is, um, so let's say you wanted to find an FAQ, so you can use this to find FAQs, so audience, SEOs, keyword, link building. So let's just say you want to do um, pest control New York, and let's, it will just go ahead and pull up all the frequently asked questions. So keyword is pest control, gives me what are the best common types of pest control in New York City. Uh, it just lists all of this over here, just bed bugs. It just goes on and on and on and on. And you get the idea that, um, you know, what this is primarily. So what, what you can do is you can also have, have separate articles on this. So what are the common types of pest control, need control in New York City? Then you can have an article that outlines all, that covers all of these um, points here. And then you can also have how I can prevent pests from entering my home in New York City. And you can just go ahead and just cover all of these points here. Um, and I find this really useful because it also tells you like the audience is uh, pest control New York, the keyword is pest control. So this is the primary keyword obviously is pest control. And it gives me a lot to work off. So I can just go ahead and highlight this and send this to my writer. And then my writer can use this to then draft articles uh, that help build authority and cover all the bases. Now, obviously, more research needs to be done, um, more keyword volume research needs to be done, and that's covered in my other video of how to find keyword volume and other, other stuff using ChatGPT. But this plugin makes it a lot easier. Um, so you can just use this and then, you know, use the prompts in my video, and you can start quickly using it to speed up your SEO processes. As you can see, this is a very easy app to use. Just about anyone can use it. Uh, my only, uh, let's say, the, the caution, the only thing I'm going to caution you about is that this uh, Google Chrome plugin may be collecting personal information. I'm not sure about it. I don't, do not own this plugin. Um, I don't know the people who have created this plugin. I just ran into this plugin and I started using it. Um, and I thought that you guys should know about it too. If you have more information about the plugin, leave it in the comments below also don't forget to like and subscribe and if you're looking if you don't want to use a plugin but you still want to use ChatGPT for seo i have a video here about using ChatGPT for seo that you will find useful till then see you in the next video